and welcome to a new video. How are you going? What's what's cracking? Today I'm going to do a renovation kind of build. So basically I created two sims to create a bit of a backstory for this renovation. So I'll introduce you to them and then get into the renovation of the house. So here we've got our two sims. We've got Pearl oh, yeah. here and then the this is Daniela. As you can see they're a little bit like punk edgy vibes. Um, Daniela is interested in art and Pearl is interested in music stuff. I'm gonna obviously cater the house to their needs. So I've moved them into this house here that is like a, a base game house and it just comes in Willow Creek and I gave them 15,000 simoleons to sort of renovate this whole house which I think should be enough. I was gonna maybe make it like a challenge but I'd rather just kind of have enough money to buy what I want. So I'm hoping that is enough money. So this is the house that we're starting off with. Here's the outside. You can see that it's got the pink siding with this kind of roof, these colors on the outside here. I don't know any of that shit, the windows and whatever. <laughs> this is the inside. So you've got like this really like old style carpet with just standard sort of wall paint. This has got a bit of wallpaper, the same carpet, a bit of lino, timber flooring, and then this kind of wall paint here and the bathroom's very like, very simple and old style. So basically I'm just gonna renovate it and make it to suit their style. The idea is to not sort of ruin anything structurally. I can take down inside walls and stuff like that, but I kind of want to keep it as like a realistic kind of renovation. So like, you know, if, if you were a person renovating a house, the kind of stuff that you could do, that would be like, you know, affordable and realistic. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the outside. Maybe they'll get like a different roof color paint to sort of change it up a bit. Change the color of these maybe. And then the color of the windows and the doors. I feel like, do I want a bit of a white and black combo? Yeah, that's nice. It's a bit less harsh. Oh, not that though. That doesn't work. That might just have to be an all black door. Maybe I could do an all white door. Yeah, I like the all white door actually. Have to redo that fence too. I just realized the gutters around the house are a bit green or whatever. Wait, what is that? Hmm. Maybe it's this. Is it that? Oh, it's, is it, it's that. Okay. What is this? Exterior trim. I just, yeah, I was like, what even is that? Okay. And then we'll do a bit of a roof trim. Oh, that's way too thick. No. No. Change the fencing. Let's do like a nice white fencing. Oh, and I gotta change the paint around here too. Wait, let's change the, I'm gonna change the color of the siding. So it's currently this one and it's pink. So what kind of color could we do? I will go with the black. Hmm. Let's just change it to daytime. There we go. See a bit better. All right, I just did a grey and then I'll paint the foundation down here. None of them are really the colour that I want. I thought this could work. If I can find the right colour. Oops. Alright, and then I need to change the staircase thing here. I'll just put white ones there. Easy. So the outside's pretty much done. I'm wondering if I should change the columns just because they're kind of like, I don't know. I'd rather just put like different ones because I don't think they really match the vibe. I feel like that's something that's doable, like just changing some columns. What ones do I want though is another, oops, there's another thing because I want one that's going to go. I think that goes a bit, goes a bit. Well, I think it goes quite well. I just realized I messed up the bottom. Okay, now it matches. <laughs> I did two different colors, whoops. All right, cool. I'm happy with the outside. I can always change what's going on out here, like with the, whoops, with the bushes, but I'll just leave that for now. What have we got for doors? We've just got white doors, that's fine. I might get different ones though, just cause we can. So we've got two rooms and a bathroom that I would also like to use as a laundry. Okay, 
I'm having a real dilemma choosing what color I want in the walls. So I think I'm just gonna design, like do all the interiors and then work out what color I'm gonna paint the wall when I'm finished because I cannot decide on what I want. So I'm gonna choose some cute cupboards. I need to remember that I'm styling this for someone else and not myself and that these people are kind of like edgy. So like, wouldn't they want their house to look kind of edgy, you know? Let's go do something like this. Like this is cool, a little like industrial kitchen vibe i will use the one from jungle adventure maybe because it's kind of it's kind of a cool retro vibe it's different it's nice it's unusual use a sink an industrial sink i don't think i want this i don't think i want the sink black though we need some overhead cupboards wait this one doesn't come with overhead cupboards does it oh it does it's these ones kind of don't go though do they just realized how tall these ceilings are oops where'd i go this one here and then we'll get one of these bad boys wait what is it oh this one sits too high i need a lower one this one yes nice this is cool i like it all the couches on the sims 4 just like look like bricks they just don't look comfortable like in any form of the word it's really quite annoying i feel like now that i've done the kitchen though i could probably do the wall color and then that might help me with designing the rest of the house oops <laughs> The wrong color. <laughs> okay, I finally decided what I'm gonna do for now. It's gonna look like this. <laughs> All right, and then I need a couch, some sort of TV. I feel like they've been spending a lot of time watching TV, so I don't think it's super essential to have like a really nice one. Like that. And then we'll need a rug. Not that rug. Stunning. Not that rug. That could work. I'm really struggling. I'm like real out of my comfort zone, like struggling not knowing what to put in this house. Should get a little dining table. Should we get a dining table or more bench space? Or both. They don't like super match. Well, I mean they match, but like they like why is it white? But anyway, it's fine. We'll do that. I might put the sink here actually. Cause that'll look cool and then we can put a little dining area here use this little glass top table and then we'll get some chairs to match that fits in the space quite nice and then we need some art on the walls too could get this koi fish one. Oh, it looks good sized up i might do that actually but yeah i feel like that's the living space done i might come back and just put in a couple more plants and things like I want to put a plant in this corner maybe. I'll just do that now quickly. Oh, this could work. Yeah, that's cute. Let's do the bathroom first because bathrooms are easy. I'm just going to make it like modern. It's easy. Maybe I'll just do it that color. It's pretty simple, but whatever. It's a bathroom. No one really cares. Yeah, we're running out of money already. I'm going to have to give them more money. That bath's cool. Do a shower. Then we need a sink. And then I'm going to do a washing machine too. I've never used a sink before, but it's really cute. I like it. All right, washing machine. Like that. All right, and then we need a bath mat. I feel like I should have put the bath. Oh, no, I think it works. Yeah, I'll just do that. That's cute. Oh, we don't have a towel rack. Nice, we need a hand towel spot. Do you put artwork in your bathrooms? Because I never know if I should. What I might do is I might put this there because that's cute. Now, which one do we want to make the main bedroom? I think we should make this one the main bedroom. I've run out of money again. Now we've got the dilemma of what wallpaper do I want to put in this room? We could do the dark purple. That's kind of nice. And it looks nice with the lighter flooring too because it kind of breaks it up a bit. Get to that flooring. Be nice. Does this go on a purple? That's where it does. Comes in that. Let's do that. Then for bedside tables. Do these come a different color? Oh, they. Wow. I could do that. Never, ever, ever used that one in my whole life. But, you know, who knows? Or we could use these industrial ones again. Like it kind of. Whoops. Like this could just be a, a table in the corner that they have something on. And then this could just be the bedside table. I don't know. 
I think we might get a cute lamp if we can find one that's cute. That's a candle bowl. That's kind of cute. Oh, there's these. This is cute. <gasps> Ooh. Look at this one. Oh, can we put that there? Oh, I like that. Yeah, nice. All right, let's look at dresses first before we do anything else. I'm really struggling. What if I got this one? That could work. That could be cute. And it doesn't take up a lot of room. All right, I'm going to do that. And then I'll get a nice mirror. There's a lot of room in this bedroom. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was. All right, now we're going to need a rug. Mm, I kind of like it. Do we like my rug? I kind of like it. We can do that. There's a lot going on. But I feel like they would like that. Okay, then we get a desk in here. A computer of some sort. Nice. Nice. So I need some sort of books. There we go. Yeah, that's cute. I dig it. Should we get the purple bed or the black one? I feel like the purple brings like a little something something. I don't know. I just put curtains in. thought they might be a vibe, but don't really know. Okay, and now we've got the fun task of pictures. Oh! Yeah, they're going to do that. I feel like they'd like that too. I could put that in the art room though. Like they wouldn't want that in their bedroom. You know? One of my all time favourites. And then into the arts room. Do I want this dark wood in here? I feel like that kind of looks better with the darker wood. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I changed the flooring for the 1000th time. Alright, and then we need wallpaper in this room. Oh, I've been doing this for 15 minutes. Bit of a hot mess. That's a lot. Is there like a colour that's not aggressive? Not that one. I could do blue. Could do this yellowy colour. Yeah, we can do that. Maybe. Like you want like a nice colour that's kind of like inspiring maybe? I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of the vibe that I'm going for. I need to find that picture from the other room that I deleted. Uh, I think it's here. This would be the room where they do their creative things, I suppose. So, get one of these. We'll put a guitar in the bedroom too, because I forgot about that. And what other, like, fun activities do we have? Run out of money again. <laughs> oh, I'm just not good at working to a budget. Oh, my other nice easel. Cool. Maybe they've got a camera too. Put the camera in here. Put a bike outside. Maybe they like to cycle. We don't know. Okay, I'm really struggling for what to put in this room here. I feel like there's a lot of options, but I'm just not seeing them. Flipping heck. Maybe I get two easels. Maybe they both like painting. Woodworking table. They just love doing stuff. Digital sketch pad that can go on there. Floristry. And then maybe they can have a plant in here too of some sort. Nice. Yeah, nice. Cool, so here is the outside of the house, which I think is really nice. It just looks like more modern than before. And then you go inside, put the walls up a bit so you can see. We almost ran out of money <laughs> again. Uh, cool, and then you go on the front door. This is the little living, dining kitchen. The kitchen looks really cute, I think. And then you go in here and this is the arty kind of room. The floristry table, the woodworking table, the easels and it just looks really nice it's got a bit of natural lighting going on in here and then here is their bedroom which is really cute they've got a laptop they've got a guitar a sketching pad a camera and then yeah just it's a bit cute the bathroom has like a couple like darker features to it to sort of suit their personality a bit but also keeping it clean and modern yeah that's that's the house. That's the bird's eye view there. I didn't really want to change the gardening or anything because it was kind of just like a house renovation. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again soon.